the Monday night football game is the Lions at the Packers. And what a dreadful a trash ass game. What a dreadful game we got in this situation. And somehow ESPN, ESPN must have lost a bet. And they, that's why they picked this damn game. Probably so. Probably so. All right, well, no, the NFL, I think, makes that schedule for them, right? Like, gives them certain games. No, 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 no. Game, networks draft games. Whew. If that's a NBC bad gets game. first choice of every game. That's I don't know game. what choice ESPN gets, but damn, they got left the shitter on this one. Yes, they did. And somehow, after that dreadful performance against the Saints last week, the Packers are 10.5-point favorites. Uh, at home at Lambeau against the Lions. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the Lions have covered like nine what nine out of the last ten or no 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 I don't think it's quite that much. Maybe six out of the last nine. seven. They they have covered a lot against Green Bay, mainly because the line is always ridiculously high. And in that's this, right. It's always been played. Yes. And in this situation I think it's inflated again. Like I'm I'm gonna take the yeah. Lions plus the ten and a half. I don't think the Lions are great. I really don't. And and without Jeff Okuda at at cornerback, I think they could be, you know, this could be a spot where Green Bay just gets right, right? But I'm going to trust my I do gut. think, hang on, I think both those things could be right. I think Green Bay could get right and and everything go well, and they do fine. I don't know that that Green Bay defense is very good, so just because Aaron is right and they start scoring doesn't mean they can stop the Lions from scoring, Okay. Sure. And, and, and I'm not I'm not asking the Lions to win the damn game. I'm just saying they're not get beat by double digits. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I I could get with that. I can definitely get with that. As far as offense versus defense, Detroit had the number twenty five offense. Green Bay the number twenty nine defense after week one, and Green Bay the number thirty two offense against Detroit the number thirty defense. So this is after one week of action, which is not a large sample size at all. This is just not a good game. Like this is <laughs> hey, Green Bay as far as total DVOA after one week. Green Bay is dead last. Like, did anybody if, believe they would see that? <laughs> no. If Aaron Rodgers looks bad in this game, hey, I had a I had a buddy a, I had a buddy text me the other night. He may have texted you too, but we can call him McKinnon. It hit me up and said, "Hey, is there is there any chance that Aaron Rodgers is just trying to throw this season?" No. I don't think so either. I think that's, he's he's a winner. That's like crazy he's a talk. Yeah, yeah. That, that, only morons think like that. <laughs> Come on, McKinney, you're better than that. I just I don't think there's any way he does that. But I also it was trying to figure out like, man, I have not seen Green Bay look that bad in a really really long. He time. He didn't practice the entire off season. True, true. I just I, you you would like to think. Dude, have you seen him? Have you seen the pictures of him? He looks like somebody who's been on a on a five day weekend of just coked out of his mind. <laughs> I would like him to TP on a stick right quick. That's all I want. I just want you. I just want him to PP on a stick real fast for me because there's got to be massive amounts of cocaine running through his body. <laughs> he is, this is not a man is. that's on the TB12 method. No, you no, see he's that not. face? You see how hollow he looks? Yeah, no, he, he definitely he looks like he's been this enjoying is a vacation. Guy that is bumped his way through Hawaii. That's what he did in the offseason. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, so you're rolling Lions too, right? Yes. All right, Lions plus two. I do think half. Packers are going to be much better, though. And like yeah. I said, if Rodgers is bad, he's not tanking. He's done. He's done. And the Green Bay should have, should have traded his ass, and they they did they messed up. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I don't think you're wrong about that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.